Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I bring another so beautiful and really easy baby blanket. In my previous video, I show how to make the matching set for this blanket. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make the baby blanket. It's really easy, even beginners can make too. You can also make those things with the confidence. Just visit our Facebook group. You will see lots of my subscribers finished products. And uh, thank you very much for all the my subscribers and the members to helping each other. I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my 100 of 1000 subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you missed my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. These all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, this is my matching set for this blanket. You can make this full set with the 5 yarn ball. I take 5 yarn ball to finish this full set. In my previous video, I show how to make those things. And I am using this basic hat for this set. You can get this basic hat with the 4 different size, 0 to 12 months. I give you this all link in the description down below. How to make the dress and the socks with the headband and the hat. I made this blanket with the matching border. You can see this border have a two different pattern for the both side. It's really beautiful. It's really nice size. If you like to make the baby boy, you can use the blue with the white color. It's coming around 41 inches. And this side is coming around 41 inches. This is the square blanket. It's really nice size. I'm using pink and a white color yarn. If you like to make this blanket for baby boy, you can use the blue with the white. We need three pink and one white. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is for this yarn ball have 100 gram, 330 meters. We need three main color, one second color. Altogether, four yarn ball. I'm using four millimeter crochet hook with the pink color yarn. And I'm using this stitch counter. If you don't have this, you can use the different color yarn. To begin, Start with the slip knot. And a chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to mark in here. 1. Again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to mark in here 2 for the 20. Now I have a 100 chain. I'm going to use different color yarn to the stitch marker like this. It's coming like this. Now I have a altogether 152 chain. Here I have a 52 and here I have a 100. Altogether 152 chain. It's going multiple of 4 plus 1 and add one more chain. Now I have altogether 153 chain. It's coming around 
36 inches you can see this blanket is coming around 36 inches this measurement for without border now I want to chain the hook I'm using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook to make this blanket You can see this blanket going with the V stitch. This is the first row going with the 36 V stitch. Row 1. I'm going to turn this chain to other side. I'm using back loop. Skip 1, 2, 3 chain into the 4th chain. One double crochet. Now I have one two double crochet. Skip one two three chain into the fourth chain. Double crochet into the same space one more double crochet or together two double crochet with the chain one into the same space two more double crochet one two this is the first V stitch for the first row skip three chain into the fourth chain again Two double crochet one two chain one into the same space two more double crochet now I have a two V stitch you can see I'm going to show you one more. Skip three chain into the fourth chain. Two double crochet. One. Two. Chain one into the same space. Two more double crochet. Again, skip 3 chain into the 4th chain, 2 double crochet, 1, 2, chain 1 into the same space, 2 more double crochet. Now I have a 4 V stitch for this first row. Follow this pattern all around to this first row. I'm going to show you end of this first row. Skip 3 chain into the 4th chain. 2 double crochet. With the chain 1 into the same space. 2 more double crochet. Skip 1, 2, 3 chain into the 4th chain. 2 double crochet. 1. 2 chain 1 into the same space 2 more double crochet 1 2 now I have 1 2 3 4 5 chain left skip first 3 chain 1 2 3 into the next chain into the fourth chain 1 double crochet and the into the last chain last double crochet now I finished first row you can see I'm um, start with the two double crochet I'm finished with the two double crochet now I finished first row with the V stitch you can see I have a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 we stitch for the first row. Next, I'm going to start row 2. Row 2 start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn your work other side. This is the first double crochet for this row. Into the next double crochet, 1 double crochet. Skip next 2 double crochet. Into this chain space, 2 double crochet. 1, 2, chain 1, into the same space, 2 more double crochet. 1, 2, this is the first V stitch for the second row. You can see this. Side to we using two double crochet, then it's getting beautiful finishing. Next, skip one, two, three, four double crochet into this chain space, two double crochet, one, two, chain one. Into the same space, two more double crochet. One, two. Again, skip next two double crochet with the all together four double crochet into this next V stitch chain space to two double crochet with the chain one. Into the same space, two more double crochet. Again, next we stitch coming into this chain space. Two double crochet with the chain one. Into the same space, two more double crochet. When you start the row two, it's coming like this. Next one is coming into this each double we stitch to one we stitch. Follow this pattern all around to this second row. Now I am end of this second row into this chain space 2 double crochet with the chain 1 into the same space 2 more double crochet. Skip 2 double crochet. We have to finish same way when we start the row 2. Into this double crochet 1 double crochet into this last double crochet 2. One double crochet. Second row, we have a same number of V stitch. Row three, start with the chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work other side. This first three chain is the first double crochet into the next double crochet, top to one double crochet. Now I have a two double crochet. Skip next two double crochet into this chain space to two double crochet with the chain one. Two more double crochet into this same space. Next skip one, two, three, four double crochet into the this chain space, two double crochet with the chain one, two more double crochet into the same space. Next, we stitch coming into this chain space. When you start the row three, it looks like this. It's coming each V stitch to one V stitch. Follow this pattern all around to the end of this row three. Now I'm end of this row 3 into this V stitch then we chain 1 space to 2 double crochet with the chain 1 into the same space 2 more double crochet 
skip next two double crochet into this double crochet one double crochet into this last double crochet to one double crochet now i have finished row three row four start with the chain three turn your work other side into the next double crochet one double crochet skip two double crochet into this chain space two double crochet with the chain one into the same space two more double crochet next v stitch coming top of this v stitch this v stitch going with the two double crochet with the chain one and a two more double crochet follow this pattern end of this row four now i'm end of this row four two double crochet skip next two double crochet into this double crochet to one double crochet into the last double crochet to one double crochet i hope you will get this pattern i'm finished four rows with the same pattern this blanket is going with the one repeat row I made this blanket with the 36 V stitch follow this pattern to your blanket size I made this blanket with the 62 rows this 36 V stitch is coming around 36 inches 36 inches it's really easy only one row to repeat make sure when you start and end you have to finish with the two double crochet follow this pattern to your blanket size now I'm gonna finish this blanket with the same pattern two double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet into this double crochet to one double crochet into this last double crochet to one double crochet i'll finish with the two double crochet we start with the two double crochet i'm finished now 62 rows i made this blanket size with the 62 rows this 62 rows is coming it's really beautiful you can see this really beautiful and really nice size is coming around 36 inches it's coming around 36 inches this is the square blanket next i'm gonna use same pattern to finish this border i remove this last two double crochet i'm using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook into this last double crochet two double crochet one two this side i'm using same pattern another three side two i'm using this pattern chain one into the same space two more double crochet one two this is the first corner chain one into the same space two more double crochet this is the first corner is coming two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one two double crochet next skip first double crochet this one into this space this line into this space one double crochet 
into the same space one more double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet again skip this double crochet and the, this double crochet you can see this side one and two line sorry two rows into this space two double crochet with the chain one into the same space two more double crochet again skip this row with the this row into this space two double crochet with the chain one into the same space two more double crochet this is the first corner this is the second side this is the is follow this pattern all around to this side is going with the skip two rows into the next space i'm going to show you how to make this second corner now i'm end of this second corner into this space you can see this first chain space two double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet you can see this same space two is coming six double crochet with the chain two this is the second corner this side have a 30 3 V stitch this is the first corner this side is a third side into this space 2 double crochet chain 1 into the same space 2 more double crochet Again, skip this chain 3 into this space, 2 double crochet with the chain 1 into the same space, 2 more double crochet. Follow this pattern to the third corner. I'm going to show you how to make this third corner skip this double crochet into this last double crochet to two double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet chain one sorry chain one into the same space two more double crochet this time i'm using this yarn tail two one two double crochet now i have a six double crochet for this corner with the chain two skip this first row same like a this second side you this, sorry second corner is going with the two rows by two this is the first corner this is the second corner this last side this the fourth side so this side is going same like a second side skip first and second row into this space two double crochet chain one into the same space two more double crochet again skip this two row into this space two double crochet with the chain one two more double crochet into the same space
follow this pattern to the fourth corner now I'm end of this fourth corner you can see this the we start the double crochet chain 3 into the same space 2 double crochet chain 1 into the same space 2 more double crochet chain 1 join with the, this first third chain using by slip stitch this the fourth corner is coming with the six double crochet with the chain two you can see this first and the second and third corner everything is coming with the six double crochet now I finish this blanket with the one round with the three yarn ball I have this much left I'm gonna use this one for the blanket flower it's really nice size made with the three yarn ball you can see this four corner is look same next I gonna add the second color this the four corner I'm gonna use this second color white fourth corner to this first V stitch I'm using this first V stitch this fourth corner to first V stitch Join with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3. This 3 chain is the first double crochet. I'm going to count this first 3 is the first double crochet. And a chain 2, all together 5. Into the same space, 1 double crochet. Next double crochet is coming into this double crochet. Front first double crochet. Next, skip this one, two double crochet into this double crochet next to this chain one into this double crochet to front first double crochet into this chain space one double crochet chain two. Into same space, one double crochet. Into the next double crochet, front force double crochet. Again, skip two double crochet into this double crochet, into this third double crochet, front force double crochet. Into chain space, one double crochet. With the chain 2 into the same space one more double crochet into the next double crochet front force double crochet you can see i have finished two v stitch next one is coming into this v stitch you can see this this one and the this one is coming front force double crochet I'm going to show you one more skip next to double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet chain one space to one double crochet chain two one two into the same space two double sorry one double crochet into the next double crochet front force double crochet again skip two double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet follow this pattern all around to this first corner I'm going to show you how to make this first corner front force double crochet into this chain space double crochet chain two into the same space two double sorry one double crochet into the next double crochet front force double crochet now I finish this one side is coming like this now I'm going to show you how to make this first corner this all corner is coming same way skip next two double crochet here I have a three V stitch 
next to this skip this two double crochet into this double crochet front post double crochet next to this chain is space into this double crochet front post double crochet into the chain space double crochet chain one two into the same space one double crochet into the next double crochet is coming front post double crochet next is skip sorry this the second v stitch into this space double crochet chain one into the same space one more double crochet i increase one v stitch in here next into this double crochet front force double crochet into this space chain space double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the next double crochet front force double crochet skip two double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet chain space two one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the next double crochet front force double crochet this is the first corner you can see here I have a three v stitch follow this pattern to the second corner i'm going to show you one more corner you can see each corner have a six double crochet into the second double crochet front force double crochet into chain space one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the third double crochet is coming front force double crochet middle of this corner then mean skip three double crochet mean first three double crochet into this space v stitch double crochet with the chain one with the one double crochet here I have a three more double crochet into the first double crochet to front force double crochet into this chain space one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into this fifth double crochet front force double crochet next into the next v stitch this double crochet to come in front force double crochet chain is space two one double crochet with the chain two into the same space double crochet into the next double crochet is coming front force double crochet this each corner is coming same way this is the first corner third corner coming same way follow this pattern all around to this fourth corner now i'm in a fourth corner here i have a six double crochet into the second double crochet front force double crochet chain space to come in double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet third double crochet is the front force double crochet into this space double crochet chain one sorry double crochet chain one into the same space one more double crochet here i have a three more left into this fourth double crochet front force into this chain space one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet next front force double crochet is coming into this double crochet next this is the first v stitch for this round into this double crochet skip two double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet join with the third chain here we start with the chain five join with the third chain using by slip stitch 
now i am finished second round for this border first round we make with the pink color second round i made the white round three start with the chain three into this chain two space one double crochet chain two into the same space one more double crochet next double crochet is coming into this double crochet front force double crochet next skip two double crochet into this double crochet we skip front force two double crochet into this double crochet is coming front force double crochet next double crochet is coming into this chain space chain two into the same space one more double crochet next into this double crochet to front force double crochet skip this two double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet into the chain space two double crochet with the chain two sorry one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet next front force double crochet into the next double crochet i hope you will get this pattern follow this pattern all around to this first corner i'm going to show you how to make this first corner now i'm in the first corner this all corner is going same way i'm going to show you one corner skip two double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet into chain space double crochet chain two double crochet front force double crochet into the next double crochet skip one double crochet this front force double crochet into the second double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the next double crochet is coming front force double crochet sorry front force double crochet next skip one stitch one double crochet into the next double crochet two front force double crochet chain space two one double crochet with the chain two into the same space double crochet next double crochet is coming front force double crochet skip two stitch into the next double crochet to one double front force double crochet you can see this the first corner here have a three corners next other all corners come in same way follow this pattern all around to these corners i'm going to show you end of this fourth corner now i'm in a fourth corner chain space two one double crochet chain two into the same space one more double crochet next double crochet to front force double crochet skip one stitch into the next double crochet to one front force double crochet chain space to one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet next one is coming front force double crochet skip one is double crochet this front force double crochet skip this front force double crochet into the next double crochet to come in front force double crochet double crochet chain two double crochet next double crochet to front force double crochet skip next two stitch join with the third chain using by slip stitch now we have finished third round fourth round into this double crochet to front force slip stitch 
chain 3 1 2 3 into this chain space one double crochet chain 2 into the same space one more double crochet into the next double crochet to front force double crochet skip next two double crochet this the next two front force double crochet into this double crochet two front force double crochet chain space two come in one double crochet chain two one double crochet You can see we are start V stitch with the front force double crochet, chain space to go in, double crochet with the chain 2 with the one more double crochet. It's a 3D border. Follow this pattern to second corner, sorry, first corner. I'm going to show you how to make this first corner. This round four, we increase one more stitch, chain two into the same space, one more double crochet. Next one is coming front force double crochet. Next, I'm gonna increase one corner in here into this fr two front force double crochet into the next front force double crochet front force double crochet into this chain space sorry is space to double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet now you can see i'm increased one into the next double crochet front force double crochet chain space two one double crochet chain two into the same space one more double crochet next double crochet to come in front force double crochet you can see i made increase one stitch and here again same way into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet into this space one double crochet chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet into the next double crochet sorry next double crochet into the next double crochet to coming front force double crochet chain space to one double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet next double crochet front force double crochet skip next two stitch into the this double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to one double crochet with the chain two now you can see fourth round round four i'm increase two stitch now have a five corn we stitch for this corner you can see we increase second and a fourth round increase if you want to make more bigger we increase in a round six follow this pattern all around to this round four i'm gonna show you end of this round four with the fourth corner this each corner is increase in this two front fours is space to one v stage I'm going to show you end of this round four. Now I'm end of this round four. You can see this three corner is coming same way. I'm going to finish round four with the same way. Now I'm in a 
fourth corner I'm going to increase one way stitch in here into this front force double crochet to front force double crochet into this space double crochet chain two into the same space double crochet next front force double crochet to front force double crochet next into the next double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to double crochet with the chain two into the same space one more double crochet into the next double crochet to front force double crochet next skip next two double crochet join with the third chain using by slip stitch then i'm finished round four with the you can see this is the fourth corner have a five v stitch now i'm gonna finish round five with the this border start with the chain three into this space double crochet chain three one two three you can see in here have a two is like this go through this space into this space single crochet into this chain space double crochet this is the last round for this border into the this double crochet to front force double crochet again skip next two double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet chain space to double crochet chain three one two three go through these two loops you can see in here these two loops single crochet into the same space double crochet into the next double crochet to front force double crochet again skip next two double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet you can see this last round I'm using this pattern to finish this border then make more beautiful into this chain space double crochet chain three one two three go through this two stitch I think you can see properly this two stitch single crochet into the same space double crochet Next double crochet is coming, front force double crochet. Next skip two double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this blanket. I'm going to show you one corner how to make the corner. This whole corner is going the same way. Skip this two front force double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to double crochet with the chain three go through this two loop and single crochet again into this chain space to double crochet next one is coming front force double crochet next skip two front force double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to double crochet another double crochet for this corner two double crochet is coming to this corner now i have a one one more double crochet chain three one two three go through these two loops and single crochet again into the same space two more double crochet this each corner going same way Two double crochet into the next double crochet to front force double crochet next skip two double crochet into the next double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to double crochet 
chain three, go through this space, sorry, these two loops, and single crochet into the same space, double crochet. Next one is coming, front force double crochet. Again, skip two front force double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet. Is each corner is coming same way. I hope you will get this pattern. Follow this pattern all around to this blanket. I'm going to show you how to finish this fourth corner. Now I am in a fourth corner. Into this double crochet to front force double crochet. Two double crochet into the chain space. Chain three. One, two, three. Go through this two loop and single crochet. Again into the same space, two more double crochet. One, two. Next double crochet to front force double crochet. Sorry, this double crochet to front force double crochet. Next, skip next to front force double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet. Chain space to one double crochet with the chain two. In sorry, chain three. Go through these two loops and single crochet into the same space. One more double crochet into the next double crochet, front force double crochet. Skip next two front force double crochet into this double crochet to front force double crochet chain space to one double crochet chain three single crochet same space to one more double crochet next double crochet to front force double crochet skip next two double crochet Join with the third chain using by slip stitch. Now I have finished this border with the white color yarn. I can cut this yarn now. Now you can see it's coming so beautiful border. This both side is coming two different pattern. I have this much left. You can use yarn needle to hide this yarn. When you finish your finished product, don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group. I give you a link in the description down below. Now I am finished this beautiful blanket. You can see this blanket have beautiful border. It's really nice size. Let's see how long this blanket. In this side to side is coming around 41 inches and 105 centimeter around 105 centimeter and this high is coming with this border around 41 inches that means this blanket is a square blanket it's really nice size you can finish this blanket with the four yarn ball it's really nice size for baby next I'm gonna add this flower to finish this blanket I give you a link in the description down below how to make this flower with this headband and this two socks. I made these two socks with this flower, same flower and this hat. If you missed that video, I give you this all video link in the description down below. Next, I'm going to show you how to add this flower for this blanket. I'm using pink color yarn with the yarn needle I'm using white flower first round to join this flower for this blanket now I'm 
Now we will finish this blanket. This the other side. This border is coming both sides is two different pattern. It's so beautiful two different pattern. I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.